Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in my daily driver BMW M3 competition and next to me is a Nissan Silvia S15 that's been tuned and we're gonna have a drag race. May seem a little bit odd, but actually it's not. And I'm gonna explain why. You see this M3 competition, it starts from around 75,000 pounds. And the guy who owns that and has had it built up is probably in for that car for about 75,000 pounds. 65 grand on the build and then 10 grand for the car. Although the cars are now worth more. They've really appreciated in value, those S15s. Anyway, let me talk about the engine performance because, once again, quite similar. This BMW has a 3-litre twin-turbo straight-six engine, and it puts out 510 horsepower and 650 newton metres of torque. Drives the rear wheels only by an 8-speed automatic gearbox, and I do have launch control. I also have planes taking off above me. Yes, we are definitely on an active airstrip. <laughs> Now, this BMW, it's a bit heavy, this thing. It's over 1,700 kilos. Ooh, yeah, it's got a bit fatter as the years have passed by and it's moved up the generations. Oh, well. Now, let me tell you about that Nissan. It's a lot lighter, about 1,200 kilos. And it's actually got more power, even though it's just got a four-cylinder engine. It's got a huge turbo on it, though, and the engine has been built. It's been bored out from the normal two litres. It's now a 2.1. And it puts out, get this, 600 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque from a four cylinder. It's nuts. I'm gonna go like that nuts. Manual gearbox though, driving the rear wheels. So the guy who owns it, his name's Luke by the way. In fact, if you wanna say thanks to Luke for lending us his tuned car, please click on the pop-out banner up there to go check his channel out. Also, there's a link in the description. It's Geo by Luke. He does reviews on that car and other tuned cars that he gets in as part of his business. So go check him out. Say thanks from you guys for lending us his car. It'll help us get other cars out on the channel. Okay, what else do you need to know about this car? Oh yeah, it's got a gearbox from a 370Z, so it can cope with that extra torque. Anything else? Mm, so I've got a flip paint. I don't know, that's irrelevant. Right, let's go on with the race. Ah, before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, otherwise I'm gonna get really cross. Okay, before we start, um, let's do the customary car wow sound check, people. You ready, Luke? I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna set the tone. Oh, rev it all the way. Oh yeah, BMW, thank you very much for not making me endure a soft limiter. There's definitely not gonna be a soft limiter on Luke's car. Go on, Luke, rev up your Sylvia. Okay, so I never thought I'd see the day when a four-cylinder two-litre sounds better than a three-litre straight six, but it's happened, sadly. Though, of course, you've obviously got tuned exhaust cats and all that kind of stuff on that car, haven't you, right? I do, I've got it all. How many turbos you got? Is it just one big dustbin turbo? Yep, just one large turbo. It's very large, you should see it. Massive, massive. Anyway, maybe I'll have a load of lag and struggle to get off the line, or I'll have a big dump of torque and wheel spin and struggle to get off the line. Either way, he's gonna struggle to get off the line. And um, we're just gonna wait for another plane to go. Right, that's another one. Now, maybe we can do this race. I've been a bit of a sport. I've let Luke go on the drier part of the track because it's a bit damp today. We can't choose the conditions. Unfortunately, we live in England and so it's always raining. My radio is making an eerie noise. Thank you, that was really informative. Someone pressed the button and didn't bother speaking. Anyway, let's crack on. Come on, we're both struggling. Oh, managed to get away, we've got cold tires. That was nuts for both of us. Luke, I had a really bad start, and I think you did too. Yeah, I missed second gear. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's not good. Three, two, one. It's hooked. Blimey, this is quick. I can hear his car though. Oh, I've got great launch. <laughs> Where's the Nissan? Here he is. So, Luke, how was that for you? I mean, I got an amazing launch. It wasn't too bad, but this car's a handful to get going um, from standstill. I just can't keep up with you, I'm not gonna lie. We need to roll race. Whew. 
let's do the thing. So then what exactly happened? Well, the BMW won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.8 seconds. The Nissan took 12.6 seconds, although it does have a manual gearbox and no driver aid at all, so it was a bit tricky to get off the line. Okay, now we can have a rolling race from three miles an hour, cars in second gear. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna count it in. Three, two, one. You have to wait until I say go. Let me catch you up again. Right, are you ready? Second gear. Wait for the go. Three, two, one. <laughs> what <are> you like? <laughs> Let's go back up the runway and try again. <laughs> I'm trying to brake boost, but I don't know if it's a good idea. Don't brake boost. Just floor the throttle when I say the word go, not when I say the word one. Go on go. The clue is in the word. <laughs> I know you're keen for your car to win. Don't worry, I'm sure it's going to perform. Don't worry. You're just reeling from that drag race thrashing. That's all to do with traction. We're taking traction out of the equation now, pretty much. Right, you ready, Luke? Can we agree that you're going to go on the word go and not on the word one? I promise. Okay, so, 30 miles an hour, second gear. Get level with me. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. struggle with traction then as well when he's gone oh look at that go i'd like to think that you probably still went a little bit early but i'm not sure it would change things that much do you know what Let, let's try something else all right and luke ryan race again this time from 50 miles an hour in third gear you good for that yep that's fine right let's go i'm gonna count it in get level get level get level 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 Level, here we are, hello. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. No, I haven't said go. The word go, I'm sorry. <laughs> are you this premature with your missus? Don't say that, please. Do you know what? Should we do it in a different language? Should we do it in French? I'll go, toi, de un, allez. Yeah? We'll do it in French. I don't know why French. I like to do it in, um, what's Japanese? Ichi ni san. San ichi ni I don't know what go is. Stick to English, I've got this now. <laughs> Can we agree that you're going to go on the word go and not on the word one? So I promise. Okay, let's, let's try again. Three, two, one, go. It's the only way to do it. <laughs> Look at him, Paul. No, two litre. Sorry, 2.1 litre. It's bought out. Little bit. Yeah, that pulls. Lots of talk. Let's try something else. You definitely won that. Now we're going to have a running race from 60 miles an hour in fourth gear. Where are you? Level, maybe? Come on, Luke. There we go. You ready? Fourth gear, roll on. Three, two, one, go. That pulls, that does. Do you know what? Your car sounds amazing. <laughs> it really does rip. Thanks, Matt. Right, last thing to do then. Your car's got it going. Let's see how good it is at stopping. No OBS. Oh dear, this could be horrific. Okay, now we can have a brake test from 70 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Let's do this. Come on then, Luke, get level. I don't know why I'm talking to you like you're a two-year-old. Or a puppy. Come on then. <laughs> Mind you, your car is feisty like a puppy. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Here comes the line. Get ready, Luke. When your nose reaches the line, not before, full emergency stop. Here we go. Line, here. <laughs> yeah, you might have locked up your rear wheels quite a lot. So you're doing some drifting while going forwards, which is probably how it should be in a Nissan Silvia, right? I was really so happy. Well, let's just say you you lost that rather spectacularly, shall we say. Still, roll-on's amazing in that car. So on the road when you just want to accelerate past someone, wow. Good work on that, Bill, by the way. Yeah, the rolling on this car is, is really good, but like for drag racing and that, it's just not set up for it. The man, he's speaking truths. Make sure you're following his channel, Jay by Luke. You can follow the link in the description below. Make sure you go over there, say thanks to him for lending us his car and apologise for what happened to his tyres during the brake test on my behalf. Right, Matt says sorry about the tyres. Well, sorry, not sorry. Right, make sure you did that. As ever, please make sure you're following us on Instagram, yeah? Just go follow us there. Loads of behind the scenes stuff of some upcoming drag race shoots. If you want to know what we're going to be doing before we actually put it on YouTube, go follow us there, all right? Oh, and as ever, got an amazing deal. 
I'm on the BMW 3 competition through Carwell. Click on the pop-out banner up there. You can see the saving you can get on it. And if you're thinking about buying a new car or selling your own car, simply Google Help Me Carwell. My team and I'll help you with everything you could possibly need around selling or buying a car. Nothing else, okay? No, like marital advice or anything like that okay go to old premature luke he might be able to no he won't be able to help either anyway see you next time hope you all enjoyed the video if you did give it a like click on those windows there for more videos and on that box there to have a little surprise this is a surprise it's something different than normal I'm not sure what it is you have to click it to find out see ya